the Bangor Daily News Sportsnet Main Tourney 2014 update from the Cross Center in Bangor. We've got the afternoon session action from Tuesday, February 18th. This tourney update presented by Greenway Equipment. For the best in John Deere sales and service, it's Greenway Equipment with two locations in Bangor and Ellsworth. Visit us at greenwayequipment.com and like us on Facebook. Greenway Equipment, nothing runs like a deer. A couple of Class C girls quarterfinals at the Cross Center Tuesday afternoon. Game one, a 4-5 matchup between Dexter and Holton. The Tigers 13-5, the Shire Towners came in at 12-6. Holton got off to a strong start in this one and led at the half thanks in part to Katie Condon who gets the feed from Samantha Keegan. The Tigers hanging tough though, Michaela White, nothing but net on this three. The Shires work it around, Brianna Longstaff fires and hits. Junior Abby Jordan was solid for Dexter, she gets this three to go, but this one went right down to the wire. The junior Michaela White for the Tiger win it won't go, the buzzer sounds, and Holton moves on. Katie Condon, one of the stars for the Shires and our BDN player of the game, on the nerve-wracking final few seconds. I was getting nervous. <laughs> uh, we were hoping for no three, like no three balls and no fouls on the inside. Holton hangs on the final 38-36. to our Tourney 2014 highlights are brought to you by Sergeant Tyler and West. Sergeant Tyler and West has been providing insurance coverage for individuals and business owners across the state of Maine since 1869. Call 992-5200 or visit stwinsurance.com. For all your insurance needs, it's Sergeant Tyler and West. The coverage you need, the service you deserve. Tuesday afternoon's second game featured the number one seed, Callis Blue Devils, up against number nine, Washington Academy. Third meeting between the two teams on the season. Pretty good first half for the Raiders. Logan Huckins, the dish here to an open Lauren Ray. Huckins keeps this one and goes off glass for two. The Devils, 16 and two, heading into tourney 2014. Get it going. A beautiful fast break. Olivia Smith, the assist. Freshman Katie Cavanaugh, the hoop. Senior Mallory Black hits from long range. Paige Gillespie had 12 boards, while Madison McVicker led Callis with 18 points. Yeah, we played them throughout the summer too, so we know we both know each other, and it makes it a lot harder to play because they know what we're about to do, and luckily tonight we could shoot and run the floor. Callis the victory. They advance to the semis. The final in this one, 55-35. to from the BDN main box at the Cross Insurance Center, Jim Churchill, along with Bangor Daily News sports writer Ernie Clark. Ernie, let's uh, break down the Class C action so far here on this Tuesday morning session, afternoon session. The boys started it in the morning. Yeah, a couple of good boys games. Uh, the Lee Academy Panthers, the third seed, opened up the day, shooting the lights out from the outside. Eight three-pointers in the first half to score uh, over 50 points uh, en route to a pretty easy win over George Stevens Academy. That combined, that three-point shooting combined with some strong inside play by Sharif Fall, who's a veteran, two-year veteran for the Panthers. Uh, just too much for the, uh, uh, the upstart uh, George Stevens team to overcome. And uh, Orno kept it close uh, in that second game. Yeah, Orno, uh, a team that plays four freshmen in their uh, rotation up against a veteran, uh, but still young, Callis team. And uh, Callis, the second seed, came in. Uh, Orno jumped on top early, but Callis ultimately got into the game with their team defense. And uh, a big first half from Kyle Johnson, a junior guard, scored 29 of his, uh, 21 of his 29 points before intermission and then came through in the fourth quarter with eight big points to help Callis advance to the semifinal matchup with Lee. Girls took over in the afternoon, and uh, Callis uh, showing their strength in the second game, and in the first game, uh, Holton coming away with a victory over Dexter in a mild upset. Yeah, mild upset uh, according to the seedings, but if you watch them play today, it really was a 50-50 game that came down to the last possession. Uh, Holton leading by two, Dexter with a ball. Dexter got a good shot, got an open three-pointer from the corner, didn't fall, and Holton was able to hold on for the win. And then Callis, the defending Eastern Maine champions in that second game, had had two close games with Washington Academy during the regular season. Today they were able to uh, stretch it out a little bit in the second half uh, by denying the three-point shots that Washington Academy had scored against them during the regular season and getting some great transition play out of uh, Madison McVicker, the junior guard who led the way with 18 points. That will do it for the BDN Main Tourney Update presented by Greenway Equipments. Nothing runs like a deer. For Sportsnet Main, I'm Jim Churchill.